I have the keys to unlock Pocket Ronnie. Okay, everything that I'm about to do now is really a review of pre-algebra, but just in case you don't remember it, I'm going to do it here. Okay, these, this problem on 1C7 is combining like terms. There is a phrase that Matthew C. likes to say, to add or combine, you must be the same kind. Only to add or combine, you have to be the same kind. In other words, you can only add X's to X's, Y's to Y's, whole numbers to whole numbers. So you can only add the same letters to each other and, the, and whole numbers. So one way to do this problem is maybe you want to rearrange it to where all your X's are next to each other. The one thing to always remember, the sign in front of the number stays with the number. This negative stays with the 4Y. This negative stays with the 14X. So if I move everything around, I'm going to leave my 15X plus 6X, but I'm going to move my negative 14X next to my X's. Now I'm going to rewrite my Y's, keeping all the signs in front of the number with them. So now all of my X's are together, all of my Y's are together, and then any whole number. Okay. So combining my X's, 15X plus 6x. If I have 15 cookies plus 16 or 6 cookies, I now have 21 cookies or 21 x's. Now 21 minus 14. Oh, that would be 7. I just got to get all my math in my head. 7x. Now combining our y's. If I have a negative 4y and I'm adding a negative 5y, I got into debt 4, now I get into debt 5 more, I am more into debt. So I am now a total in debt of 9y's. There's nothing to add to my 10's. If it makes you feel better to cross something out as you do it, because then you know you took care of that term, then there's no other whole numbers to add to my 10. So this is as much as simplifying that I can do. Okay, now let's look at 1C8. We're dealing with A's and B's and whole numbers. You can only combine A's to A's, B's to B's, and whole numbers to whole numbers. If you want to rewrite everything to where all of your A's are together, remember the positive goes with the A, the negative stays with the 4B. I'm going to write all my B's together, and then any whole numbers. Combining A's to A's, I have 3A plus 6A, so therefore I would have 9A's. I have a negative 4B and a positive 7B. I'm in debt 4, but now someone gave me $7, which means I now still have $3. I am in the positive, I have $3. And then there's nothing to add my whole numbers to, so that's as simplified as I can make it. All right. Here's a review of exponents and with negative signs, looking at 1C12. You have a negative 5 with parentheses squared. When you have parentheses, that means that the whole thing is squared. It means negative 5 times negative 5. Because squared means anything times itself. A negative times a negative is a positive, and therefore that would be a positive 25. So when you have a negative 5 squared, I like to show this, it's in the whole parentheses times the whole parentheses. Okay, at 1C14, you have a negative 4 squared with no parentheses. That means you do the exponent first and the negative stays in front. So you do your 4 squared first, which is 16, and your negative stays in front. So when there is no parentheses, your negative stays in front. All right, looking at 1C9, this is a review of multiplying and dividing positive and negative numbers. Here you have a negative 3 times a positive 5. A negative times a positive is a negative, so that would be negative 15. Remember, a negative times a negative becomes a positive. Only in math does two negatives make a right. Looking at 1C10, you have negative 81 divided by negative 9. I like to rewrite it as a fraction or write it like this as a division. Negative 80, negative 81 divided by, this line means divided by, negative 81 divided by negative 9. 
A negative divided by a negative is a positive. Remember I just said, in math, two wrongs make a right. Only in math. So that would be a positive. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. And 81 divided by 9 is 9. So that would be a positive 9. You don't have to write the positive sign. If you just write 9, that implies positive. Looking at 1C11, you have 4 divided by a negative 2. Or if you want to write it this way, 4 divided by a negative 2. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. So, and 4 divided by 2 is 2.